We're flying to Scotland today. Well, actually flying to Heathrow first, then getting on the car, going to Scotland. Uh, Got to go over to Katrin's uh, or Sammy's to pick up the pink luggage. Then Maya and I are heading over to JFK together. Baba Booey. Currently in the Katrin Odie home in the, the attic guest room with the drums. The bed. With the just outside London view. Some fellas. My catch all bag of vitamins cursed trail mix. <laughs> I'm in the crib right now, in the Edinburgh Fringe crib. Um, that's what the room's looking like. Oh, it's a pretty chill. Bed is a little, it's, it's okay. It's a little springy, a little stiff, but it seems like in Europe all these beds got hella springs in them. Bathroom is tiny, but cozy. Got a little pod, pod shower. It's clean. Uh, sink drain's a little slow, but whatever. Sh Shavers only. Shave my life. Toilet, green towel from the OD household, luggage. Night one here. Um, tomorrow we got a little bit of rehearsal. Also have to go set up, get the, get the train pass, a little bit of rehearsal, get some groceries, get body wash. Oh my fucking God, I can't even take a shower tomorrow. Okay, I'll figure that out later. All right, GN. A bosh. Take... Wait, let's see it. Tell me to go for a chat. <laughs> 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 I go for a with you. I'm just gonna say it because it's worth saying. The alcohol is a poison that your body's gonna fight first before getting back to fighting the sickness. Oh. <laughs> The Scottish sticks. Oh yeah. So we don't have to. Just finished two runs in one day, along with a lot of other rehearsing. It was kind of like our last dress rehearsal. We got tech tomorrow. Um, tech tomorrow, then opening night the day after. Yeah, uh, tonight we're probably gonna go see like Eric's show, go see something else. I wanna try to find a time to see John Harper's show. We're gonna do some more flyering. Back from Eric's show, it low key rocked, made me wanna do sketch, ske sketch comedy, but I'm gonna stick to the scripts. I also did some flyering, dropped some flyers off, caught the last train home, it was packed. Hell of people living here in. Uh, Q, Q, QMC, yeah. Lots of people on the train. It was kind of lit. It's good to be back. Probably just gonna chill and run through tomorrow's plane with Catherine now. GN. Just finished the morning in town, did some flyering, saw Otis's show. Then I tried to catch the 135 train and I missed that shit. I. Had to wait for like three and a half hours. So I just spent my time memorizing lines for this ABC audition. Got those lines down, got on the train, and then the dude sitting next to me on the train. We didn't know it at first, but like we just sat next to each other on the train without saying anything. Then we both got off at Muscle Bro, got uh, into the Q uh, QMU campus, and turns out he's my next door neighbor. Bro is also an actor, also opening tomorrow, also in the space UK, just in a different space, but he's doing sound design. He's an actor in one show and sound design in another show, and he's doing sound design for for this show that I've actually seen the flyers of, so now I gotta go see this. Uh, well, that, that sounds like I'm not excited about it. I am excited about it. It's cool. Like, that's crazy. Oh, fuck. Opening night. 
we're gonna fly her for like three hours before we do it, and then that's balls to the wall. Shit. Oh yeah, also we're doing like a pasta night right now, so Izzy's cooking up some pasta and I helps with char chopping garlic and washing dishes. Gotta get some pasta going. Oh, yeah. Yippee! Yippee! Just finished opening night. Well, honestly, I think I did a decent job. I think I did my work. I think I hit my beats. I think I personally did 85%. I think the show overall, maybe 72%. Got some shows to see that I have to see because they're friends' shows and they came tonight, so gotta go see them. Probably gonna get a note tonight. Probably gonna eat a little more pots and garlic bread. I'm so fucking tired, bro. It is. Let's cry. Uh, it's the day of our second show. I got, I'm getting coffee with Miguel and his girlfriend, then watching Serena's acid trip show, then Gianna's pre-delusional, then another show that we promised we'd go see because they promised they'd come see us. Then it's our second performance. Show two complete. Overall, I think the show went better than the first day. We had maybe like 28 people in the audience, which is still very decent. Um, I'm just like struggling with the flirting with Lola. I don't know. You know, in like will they, won't they, it sometimes feels like we won't. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just have to tinker with that more and I'm gonna try to work that out. I got three more performances to experiment with that, so we'll make it happen. Shouts out, shouts out, making it happen. Yeah. Um, day of performance number three, woke up, did yoga, taped with Maya, we both got our auditions done. Then we got performance number three tonight. Apparently tomorrow we got two, two, two reviewers coming through as well as getting filmed tomorrow. So tomorrow's a big day. Today doesn't mean jack shit. green light. The green light that does not turn off in my room. Honestly, I'm going to like it. The third show went well today. It turns out we actually had a reviewer in the audience, which was surprising, but it really did not impact me. I think we did a good job. I think I did a better job, even. Uh, the flirt worked a little better. Uh, and I think that's important because uh, right before the show, I like, <clears throat> I like called her gross for not washing her hair more than once every three days. She was like, oh, it's been three days since I've washed my hair. And I was like, yo, that's fucking gross. And I was like, what, like you're going to the gym, like you're performing, like you, you wash your hair like once every three days. That's a little, that's crazy. And like, like I was bantering, like I don't actually think it's like actually gross. I was just like, yo, you're fucking nasty. We kind of got like mad at each other before the show. And then that energy like carried into the show, which somehow like helped the top scene a little bit, which is kind of funny. But overall, I think I'm just like, I'm happy that the show went well. But I'm a little pissed too because I don't know. It's another day, the penultimate day in fact. I don't have any shows of friends that I need to catch today, which is quite a relief. I get I got to sleep in a little bit longer, watch some Elden Ring playthrough. But there is this like one show 
that I kind of want to catch. The text doesn't matter, but I thought the picture was that big. If I can catch that today after laundry, I don't know if I'm going to be able to because I don't know how, if I have enough time, but I might try to catch it tomorrow. Just finished show number four. Four. Hustling to get changed. Get out of here. Get out of the theater. I'm changing this public hall in this hallway in the theater. Hustling to get out of here. Back from fourth show, smallest audience so far, only like nine people. But I think it was the strongest performance so far. I'm happy. About to drink some wine, get some notes. It's closing night tonight, the fifth performance, our final performance. We're gonna do a decent amount of afternoon flyering, I think, and then evening flyering as well. Hopefully people come through, pull through for us. Like the performances have just been getting better and better. So just gonna, uh, gonna keep that trend going. Bro, so I just watched this thing, right? One of the most ridiculous things I've ever watched. It's like a 60 year old like Taoist guy from Oregon. And he just kind of talked about summaries of Zhuangzi and Dao De Jing. And he just started talking about like his ex-wife and like a cult that moved to his childhood home when he was a kid. And just started getting meta about like the festival. And then he did a bunch of like one-liners. It's just like unhinged, bro. It's like, what the fuck am I watching? Yeah, Closing night, how do you feel, Maya? I feel like we did good. Let's go! Yeah. Izzy, how'd we do? Fantastic, it was my favorite show. Nadia? I hated it, I'm sorry. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> it was so good. Katrin, closing night, how's it feel? Um, great. <laughs> great. I feel proud. I'm back home. It's like 3 a.m. We went out. We in the bra. Some lady at a bar called me a twink. I think I'm sick. Whatever. Tomorrow, seeing some shows, waking up hella late. Just saw the Sun King sick, faded, and uh, disabled right now. I need to stop sticking my tongue out at the Last night at QMU, I'm packing it all up and clean the kitchen. Get a head start on packing before we have to get out of here tomorrow morning. I'm ready for phase two of the trip. We're gonna see what happens. Packing this John up. Keys and Dayquil on the table. Last gander at my view. My yoga view. We're going back to London, baby. Okay, back to the Odie household. We're back here, low-key where we started. It's good to be back. Tomorrow is my birthday, but before I can start worrying about that, I got lines to memorize for the Violet Trotter callback, virtual callback. Tomorrow is gonna be memorizing lines, and then we might have a little uh, traditional roast, a little traditional English roast for my birthday dinner. Pretty chill. <laughs> it's the day after my birthday. Had a great birthday with the Odie family. Call back later today and then I can actually start hanging out in London and stuff. I'm gonna shower soon and warm up and get ready. Yup. On the mall. It's the Buckingham. Wait, is the flag up? I think the flag's think there. The flag Wait, so that means Charles is in. That means Charles is home. Wednesday, we're going on bar crawl, museum crawl, we're gonna see London. We saw Buckingham Palace last night, we saw the Big Ben last night. We're gonna, we're gonna see the sights. Uh, the world of being able to put a different pair of shoes in your bag. Lindy's gone, the same. Um, Thank you. 
Wow. Nice. Yeah. Alright, that was the London Natural History Museum. The gems were sick. The birds were sick. Movie. in the direction of the globe. Yeah. It's immediately... Wow. <laughs> Wombat, hair, 10 foot. What the fuck? <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> Where am I? What an experience. Do you want to find? <laughs> 17,000. Let's fucking go. Last day in London, gonna go see Grapes of Wrath at the National Theater. They're probably going to club or something tonight, but I'm not going to a fucking club. Here playing fucking, I'm playing fucking Roblox. Alright, here's the result. Uh, the dawn of the final day. We're gonna head to the airport soon. Gonna catch that flight back home. Hell yeah. It's been a trip.